go live. Um, I've lost track of time. Hello, good morning. Father Wade here. How are you doing today? This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, right? I think so. And we are looking to broadcast live on, uh, where are we going to be? All over the place. You, know, you guys you guys know you don't really care about that, do you? <laughs> um, but anyway, we're, we're supposed to be broadcasting on Facebook. And um, I've been taking so long working on a project that I, I get sidetracked and that's what happens. So good morning. God bless you. Let's see if I can, I can start this broadcast here. Three, two, one, start. Hello and good morning and welcome to Morning Prayers. This is Father Wade. Thank you for watching the replay. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, I'd like to encourage you to share this podcast out, uh, if you will. Uh, let people know that you're here. Say hello. Prayer requests are accepted. This is the day the Lord has made. We can rock and roll. We can rejoice in the name of the Lord. Uh, hopefully my sound is coming out just perfectly the way that it is uh, supposed to be. Um, if it's not, please let me know. Uh, it would be awfully embarrassing to have no sound and and no, no video. So I want you to go ahead and share. Your comments are welcome. Encouraging comments are, are welcome, of course. Uh, the negative ones, yeah, we'll just let that go for somebody else. Okay, hope you understand that. But um, all right, we're getting ready to pray. Let's see who's here joining in with us. Make sure that we're broadcasting and it's working on um, YouTube and um, you now. Uh, so I want to get make sure my friends and we're broadcasting on Periscope today too. Um, so we're opening up a, a mixer. Well, I didn't know I was going to be broadcasting on Mixer, but I guess that I am broadcasting there as well. Mixer and Twitch. So if you're watching by Twitch, say hello. Um, hopefully we will see your, your smiling face pretty soon. And um, hey, it's a uh, November thirtieth. Can you believe that? Time is just um, crunching on. Uh, we're already in the nativity fast and um, s preparing for the, the Advent season. And uh, yeah, that's just one, it's just, it's going, um, it's going a little too fast for me. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just going fast. And uh, so much to do. That, um, but we're excited and we're thankful for what we're able to do, and uh, we thank for you, thankful for you that you're a part of it, and um, that makes it all worthwhile. It really does. So we're uh, broadcasting this out, and now that's you now is taken care of. Mixer, yeah, it looks like I'm broadcasting on Mixer too. Hello there. Um, it's the first time I've actually seen that. Um, and I do have a comment section. Uh, hello, see if that works. Yes, I'm broadcasting. Uh, YouTube. Um, well, I don't know about YouTube. YouTube is just funny. So, and I'm back here to um, uh, be live. Let's see who do we have. We have Martha in the house. Hello, Martha. Good morning. All is well and working. Thank you so much. I appreciate that for letting me know that um, that the podcast, the audio and video is coming through fine. Do you know what was funny? I was using a green screen or testing out a green screen yesterday, and I moved off to the side. I changed the the background in the middle, and uh, and it, there was a picture of me. So I have on my cover page uh, two of me. It's the the tale of two friars. Anyway, all right. Are you ready to pray? Let's see. It's about uh, 640. Yeah, all right. Sounds like a good idea to um, pray. And um, let's see. Make sure that I am I'm good there. And yep, that works. And um, my videos just checking out the other stream here. 
that's working. Yeah, wow, everything's working today. This is a, a wonderful. I'm not going to complain. If I um, knew where my other glasses were, let's see if I can find my other glasses. You know, it's it's funny. Yeah, here they are. Um, that glass is nice and dirty, though. Uh, but there's there's no glare with these glasses on, so I like these glasses better for that reason. But I broke them, I fell on them, or something like that. Um, let's see. So we're supposed to be live. Let me click on live here to make sure that we are. Um, I hope we're live on. It looks like you. We are. It looks like we are. Oh, praise the Lord. Okay, since we are, we will move right on. I don't want to clog anything up. Mixer, okay. And you now? It's good. All right, my friends. We're ready. I'm ready. Scott, how are you doing this morning? Heather, hello. How are we doing? God bless you. Okay, let's see. Oh, I forgot to do that. Sorry, one last thing. Um, let's see, we don't need this and we don't need that. Uh, this stuff is getting organized, believe it or not. Um, and I am so thankful that it is. Okay, don't need that either. How'd that get on there? Okay. So we've dropped those connections. We should that way we'll free up some memory. And um, I guess we're doing good here. Oh, one last one last site. Okay, very good. Now I've got my bell. Now I'm ready to go. So it's a little chilly. It's about 50. It wasn't as cold as it was yesterday, but it, it's it was nice. Um so it's it's a nice morning and the lord is good and his mercy endures forever i will say of the lord he is my strength my shield my song my god in him will i trust uh, i've got my armor put on this morning and i've got a prayer that uh, uh it's a prayer of protection that um that uh, we we often uh, pray it was written by um uh, Dr. Francis McNutt, and uh, and if you don't know who Francis McNutt is, he is a, um, a healing, or he taught healing um, in the, uh, well, he's been conducting healing and deliverance, healing of the emotions, and so forth, and um, uh, awesome. Okay. All right, very good. Just to want to check and make sure that that's it. Everything is going good. Which is, what is it, 45? It's almost time. Okay, then we're ready to go. God bless you. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you for those little thumbs up when you click on the likes like that. The likes, every time you click on a like, you see, you know, and um, you know, little hearts or likes pop up. You're more than welcome to do that. You know, just, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to or not, but that's, uh, it's, it's a possibility. Our hearts, clovers. All right, let's pray. Let us pray. So I'm going to switch over to the uh, to our prayer um, screen, and um, there we have it. So soon I'll be having transitions, and it'll look all, all this stuff will be old hat, but. We're ready to start. You know what I'd like to do? Um, and I'm going to start out on this um, this other page first. And then I want to go to the... Um, I'll make that transition. All right? I've lost the... There it is. 
glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Here we go. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Good morning and hello. This is Father Wade. Welcome to the live prayer cast. We are in the middle of the Nativity Fast. It is Friday morning prayer with Father Wade, broadcast live from the St. Andrew Rectory here in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, you can find me pretty much anywhere by just uh, using the hashtag Friar Wade, and I should pop up on different platforms. God willing, it's all good. And uh, we're excited to be able to pray with you this morning. Uh, it is Friday, November 30th. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. So tomorrow is December 1st, or it's November the 18th. So if you don't want to leave November yet, you can just use the old style calendar. You're still on November the 17th. Uh, it is the 27th week after Pentecost. We're in the Nativity or the St. Philip's Fast. Um, and the Saint, one of the saints commemorated today is St. Gregory, the Wonder Worker of Neo Caesarea. And uh, that's, uh, reading his story uh, is, uh, is an amazing story. It's good to read about the lives of our heroes and sheroes of faith or our mentors, however you want to look at them. People that have not, not only uh, shared the gospel, but lived the gospel and uh, were lights by the grace of God. My mug here is a promote, promo for Ancient Faith Radio. Um, they have a wealth of information, ancientfaith.com, one of my favorite uh, sources. Uh, shout out to John Maddox and Bobby Maddox and the whole family uh, at uh, the whole family yes that, that's their name W-H-O-L-E uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hole no I'm kidding and uh, uh, seriously that uh, really appreciate the ministry of Ancient Faith Radio podcast they have transcripts available of the books and so forth and um, uh, I you know I, I have some books available and I will will share them at one point in time but not today Anyway, um, let's do morning prayers. We're here for this beginning of the Trisagion prayers. Again, prayer requests are accepted. I'm so excited that you're here, and I appreciate you praying with me. Amen. Here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Blessed is our God, now and ever and into ages of ages. Amen. Bendito se nuestro Dios, perpetuamente. Uh, or you see and pray por los siglos de los siglos de amen. O oh Lord, open my mouth to bless your holy name. Cleanse this heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten my understanding. Kindle my affections that I can say this office worthily with attention, with devotion, so be able to be heard in the presence of your divine majesty because it is through Christ Jesus, my Lord, God, Savior, and King. Amen, amen, amen. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep, and I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God, for you strike all of my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Amen. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. Let him who hears say, Come. Let him who is thirsty come. And whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. He who believes on me, as the scripture said, out of his belly will flow rivers of living water. Cause me to hear your loving kindness this morning. For it is in you that I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto you. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thanks for joining in with us for morning prayers. I thank you for sharing this out. Appreciate that. Um, thank you for praying with us. No, we're not. We're not finished. We're just. Uh, we're just. Just wanted to say hello and get started. Uh, I was about to freak out. Oh, he's he's already quitting. No, not quitting yet. It was not at the end. Just beginning. 
and check on them. Hey there, how you doing? Good to see you. Good morning, my friends on you now have uh, started popping in. Um, good morning. I think that's good morning. Yes, it is. Good morning. All right, and um, we're looking good over there too. All right, continuing on. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Ah, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. For God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord. It is wonderful and marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Come quickly, Lord Jesus, Maranatha. Glory to Jesus Christ, glory forever. Let's give glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Lord, we give you glory. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Gloria a ti in nuestro Dios. Gloria a ti. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessing and giver of life, come and abide with us. Cleanse us from every stain of sin and save our souls, O good one. Ah, glory to Jesus Christ, O Rey Celestial, Paracleto, Espiritu de Verdad, que estas en todas partes y llenas todas los cosas, Toroso de todo lo bueno, de despensin, despensando ador, yikes, en la vida, veni mora en nos, nosotros, purificanos de todo mancha, y salva nuestro amos, O oh, bondadoso, my Spanish, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Santo Dios, Santo Fuerte, Santo Inmortal, Señor Tin Piedad de Nosotros. Oh, 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 oh. God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you. I give you glory and praise. Glory and praise. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord. Cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, one God, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Having arisen from sleep, I fall down, O good one. And I cry out to you, Almighty God, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy are you, O God. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, now that you have raised me up from my bed of sleep, enlighten my heart and my mind, and open, open my mouth that I may show forth your praise, for you are blessed to all generations. Holy, holy, holy are you, O God. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us now and ever. And unto the ages of ages, amen. Suddenly the judge shall come. The deeds and actions of everyone will be revealed. Therefore in fear we cry out to you, Lord, holy, holy, holy are you, O God. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. 
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Senor ten piedad, Senor ten piedad, Senor ten piedad. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, glory to you. Having arisen from sleep, I thank you, O Holy Trinity, for your great goodness and patience, and you have not been angry with me in my negligence and sinfulness, nor have you destroyed me in my transgressions, but you've raised me up as I lay in despair that I may sing the glories of your majesty. Lord, enlighten the eyes of my heart and my understanding. Open my heart to receive your words. Teach me your commandments and help me to do your will, confessing you. From all of my heart, singing and praising your all-holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Lord, have mercy on me. Hell, God According to your great goodness and according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you and you only have I sinned and done that which is evil in your sight. Therefore you are justified in your sentence and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness, O Lord, and let the bones which you have humbled rejoice. Hide your face from my sins. Blot out all of my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me today with a consistent, strong, and willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God. You're the God of my salvation. My tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will show forth your praise. You have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you do not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure, Lord. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and in whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Um, I am so thankful today. You know, Thanksgiving is past, but that doesn't mean that we should stop giving thanks. I will that men everywhere pray, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Um, I give thanks for all men, for kings and those in authority, so that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. So we, we pray this morning. <coughs> and we cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Water was good, a little too good. The um, we're going to share the word uh, this morning, and uh, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're full of the Holy Spirit today. You know the prayers that we pray from the Psalms and from Scripture. Uh, which Psalms are included in Scripture, of course, that uh, they speak of Christ. And it's, uh, it's amazing on how some of those Psalms I don't want to pray because I don't want to believe that I am what some of those Psalms say that I am. <laughs> but it's also talking about God working in our lives. And we remember the completion, the work that Christ did and does. He ever lives to make intercession for us. And he's sitting, waiting for his, his enemies to become his footstool, expecting it to happen. It will happen. Satan is a defeated foe. All right. Here's a prayer before reading scripture. Are you ready? 
Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also a reverence for your blessed commandments, and having conquered all sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory together with your Father who is without beginning, your good, all holy, good, all your all holy, good and life giving spirit, now and ever. To the ages of ages, amen. So we'll check my feeds here. Say hello. Uh, hello, good morning. God bless you. It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. We're getting ready to read the word. Now, if you're driving, just listen. Don't, um, please, please don't um, close your eyes and pray and drive. Uh, while I'm here, anyway, I... Uh, you know what I'm saying. Scripture says to watch and pray anyway. All right. Matthew 4. That's what we're going to read today. I wanted to check if we had any comments coming in. Hey, good morning. LeChuck Strikes Back. Hey there. How are you doing? And Spellbound. Hi there. So good to see you. Or I see your name anyway. Is the broadcast coming through clear? I hope so. I, you know, I haven't checked and made sure. I just, I, I see that, so I, need, I probably need to make sure that it is, is working. Um, you know, I don't have any tags on, on this uh, page about who I am and so forth, which is my remiss. I apologize for that. Um, let's see if I can add one real quick while I'm thinking about this. If I put, um, how about that? Prayer requests are accepted. I want to let you know that when we get to after we read scripture, we will be praying for one another uh, today. Let's see. I have um, this one here. Let's see if I can click on that, unlock it, and click on it. And um, okay, unlock first. Now it's unlocked. Now click. Does it want to click? What's this? Ecam. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. No wonder it wasn't working. All right. Um, I want to edit this a little bit I don't know if it wants me to edit it save uh, right oh there's giving Tuesday right there that was the the old one you say why in the world are you doing this right in the middle of the I don't know honestly um, let's see bang okay that's that's um that's me. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might like that. Now I'll put this down here somewhere. So that way you know <laughs> who I am. How do you like the back this this border deal? Does that look interesting? Not not my little hole, cubby hole, but the border that goes around. Um I, I can change this actual this here. Um I can change it to just a, a tall where it looks like that. Um, that might be a kind of a interesting, you know, I'm off to the side now, but it's only half my face, maybe not. Let's see what else I can do. Uh, the square, there we go. But then that covers that up a little bit. Let's see if I can reduce the size here. Sorry about that. Um, there we go all right try that for a little while it looks a little different okay so everything is still going copacetic I suppose um, we've got and Martha's get to say says a comment thank you for those comments appreciate that Let's us know that there's people that are praying along with us. Let's others know that as well. All right. Scripture time. Let's go. I just prayed the prayers. Wisdom, be attentive. And the, here's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the words of your gospel be on my mind, upon my lips, and in my heart. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their debts and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his John, his brother, in a boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases among the people. This is the gospel of the Lord. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And the reading from the epistle, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4. For I think that God has displayed us apostles last, as men condemned to death. For we have been made a spectacle to the world, both to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are, dis dis we you are distinguished, but we are dishonored. To the present hour we both hunger and thirst, and we are poorly clothed, and beaten and homeless. And we labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we endure, being defamed, we entreat. We have been made as the filth of the world, the elf scouring of all things until now. I do not write these things to shame you, but my beloved children, I warn you. For though you might have 10,000 teachers or instructors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Therefore I urge you, imitate me. This is the word of the Lord. Glory to Jesus Christ. And the gospel of John. The Baptist disciples followed Jesus. Again the next day, John stood with two of his disciples, and looking at Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned, and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? And they said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated, Teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. And they came and saw where he was staying, and remained with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Um, now he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus looked at him, he said, You are Simon, son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, or Kephas, which is translated a stone. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of, the, of whom Moses in the law spoke, and of the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. And Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. And Jesus answered and said to him, Because I saw I said, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Most assuredly I say unto you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. The other scriptures for today that I've posted are 2 Timothy 1, um, and you can read those at your own leisure. The other one is uh, Luke chapter 16. Um, wanted to share those scriptures with you today as um, it's about St. Andrew, that this is the mission parish that we have here that's sponsoring, that is, um, this podcast is an outreach of St. Andrew, my glasses, this is an outreach of St. Andrew, the first called Orthodox Catholic Church. That's right. And here in Lakeland, Florida, it's a mission plant. We're a church planner, so, you know, I don't know if you know much about church planning, but it is a, it's a 
Bumpy road. We're in for a bumpy road. <laughs> it is. And, um, but it's good for me. Uh, and sometimes it feels like I'm out of control, which is okay as long as the Lord's got things in control. Um, and and what's, what I like to see is uh, the Lord working on me, that I see things that I would normally have done responded in a, I don't want to say a non-Christian way, but it is. It's a, it, it's a not out of love and out of peace. And then I notice I, I want to respond that way, and but I, I'm catching myself and saying, no, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. There's another way to respond. I mean, when you grow up in an environment, even though it was a loving environment with the school and the many years that you pick things up, your environment determines your, um, your attitude. Really, it does. It, it determines if you have a positive attitude or a negative attitude. Now, and there's a, uh, you says, well, no, somebody, I know somebody, that, uh, the children, you know, one's a positive and one's negative. Well, you're going to have, obviously, you're going to have things like that where some, uh, the personality of one is predisposed to one position or another. But the uh, idea is that bad company corrupts good morals. So when you, when you hang around people with loose morals, it, it affects you. Um, also, if you hang around people that are full of the Holy Spirit, full of the peace of God, full of the love of God, it, it affects you. And for the good. In fact, the first Fahnestock that came over uh, from Germany in the 1700s, uh, before America was America, you know, in the colonies, uh, Johann Dietrich von Estock, he reasoned that if bad company corrupts good manners or good morals, then good company should strengthen good morals. Good things like integrity. If you hang around people of integrity, it's easy, a lot easier to maintain integrity. If, if you hang around people that walk in love, it's easier because you're around that, that influence is there. They help you, they work with you, they walk with you. Okay. And so he joined a, uh, a, com, a commune there uh, in Ephrata. And now it's a tourist attraction or a historic site. It's called the Ephrata Cloister. Um, so back there, people were living in, in a monastic lifestyle, him and his, his family. So they lived in a community. And wow. You are good, Lord. Glory to Jesus Christ. Whew, yes. All right. You say, well, what does a what does St. Andrew, the first called Old Catholic Church, Orthodox Catholic Church, believe? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, remember the uh, back when there was only one church? Well, there still is one church. But before this massive splits, um, there was basically only one church for the first 1,000 years. At, at 500, there was a miscommunication of, uh, of over one thing in the Council of uh, uh, Chalcedon. But basically, that's, that's where you get the uh, Coptic Orthodox and so forth. But here's the thing. The, the, the faith was basically the same for 1,000 years. I mean, you had heretics rise up here and there. But the church maintained the unity of the faith. And this is what... The church came together and established when it was asked, well, who is Jesus? Who is God? What's going on? They were having questions and people would, it reached an uh, international deal. And so they called a council together of bishops from all over. Now, these bishops here were not the kind that you've probably heard about. These bishops actually had scars and wounds from being tortured for their faith in Christ. I think all but 11 or 18 of them um, had torture marks where they were tortured for their faith in Christ. So these guys aren't out here just to try to gain power. These guys came together 
out of, out of reverence. In fact, um, St. Nicholas, um, uh, the, the forerunner of Santa Claus, so to speak, he was, he was at this council. And it was over the Arian heresy. Um, who is Jesus? Is Jesus one with God? Is he God? Or is he a created being? And um, there's like there's several groups today that teach that Jesus is a created being, or that he became God, which the church condemned as heresy. They were they prayed, what they found out well, what has been taught. And here's the creed that we confess. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator or maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and he ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And, I believe, in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. So that's the uh, that's the, the the creed. That's you guys want want to know what Christianity is. Hey, good morning. Um, Hawkins is at the airport. I see that. Hello. It was hiding down there. Hi, Deborah Hawkins. You're at the airport. Which airport are you, Deborah? She's watching on YouTube. That's great. Thank you so much. Let's see if I can put that on the screen. I will do so. There you go. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Getting fancy. <laughs> nice and clear. Very nice. Nice. Wonderful. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Let's check for other comments before we go on and say our final prayer and then going and praying for others um we've got uh, linda says good morning hello linda and it's good to see you and you now let's see if we got there hey guys we got some more people coming in on you now hey guys if you know how to do the likes and stuff and those stars and and become fans and share this out on you now um, I encourage you to do that. Let other people know. They'll freak out. Says, "Oh my goodness, he's watching them, um, or she's watching this this priest here on, uh, uh, you know, doing morning prayers." All right. Yeah, let them know because we're about to go into prayer. So I want to let you know that prayer requests are accepted. I assume that if you're watching on you now and the volume is coming through, okay, and you can see everything, give me a shout out, say hello or yes or something like that. Um, I do want to let you know that prayer requests are accepted. And uh, type that in there. And if I don't get back to you immediately, it's because we're, you know, broadcasting on several channels. Okay. Super. Did I just get another comment? Larry Snow is in the house. Good morning, Larry Snow. I bet it's cold up where you are. Oh, mercy. Thanks for stopping by this morning. Uh, we are fixing to pray. We are about to pray a Russian prayer <laughs> by Metropolitan Filaret of Moscow. I don't have I don't have a good Russian accent. I don't have a good accent at all. I don't think, um, but we are going to pray, and um, uh, for for one another. So if you you want to hang on here for prayers, we're about to do that right now, and then wrap this puppy up, 
and uh, uh, just just reach the freezing mark <laughs> cold it's cold yeah you know cold cold it's, I mean, it's, isn't amazing the weather changes I mean how much control do we have over that not a bit the, the weather changes <laughs> and we, we, we adapt but yet, when, when it comes to economic changes and stuff like that, we think we've got control. And the economic things change too. Seasons. Oh, my internet connection is um, being funky. The resolution's changed. I just was notified. So I wonder if somebody's using the internet. Okay, just a pause for a moment of uh, reflection. All right, let's pray. Continuing on, my heavenly home is bright and fair. Oh, my goodness. I feel like traveling on. All right, here we go. Uh, while I'm here, I want to. I want to. I do want to take an opportunity um, to give a shout out to a, several people. Okay, first off, Larry Snow, that um, just signed in. I want to give a shout out to Larry Snow, who has helped me, uh, motivated me, shared some information that has helped me progress along in our broadcasting uh, stream. He's 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 actually shared a lot more that I haven't put into practice yet. I'm sorry, Larry. I, I'm gonna need a refresher. Um, and Eileen Smith has been wonderful to help. Um, and uh, Steve Dotto, that uh, has provided a lot of information. Um, and I'll even give a shout out to Joel Com. Joel Com makes it look so, um, what do you call it? Effortless. So these are just a couple of, a few friends that. Um, have helped progress along the way, and I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank the Central Florida Food Bank here in Lakeland, Florida. So if you're watching this broadcast locally or in the Lakeland area, uh, the Central Florida Food Bank's not just a food pantry. They are actually a warehouse operation. Semi-trucks, I mean, you know, the long puppies come in, um, and bread. I mean, they've got bread, 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 bread. Uh, and I don't need to eat bread. I mean, you know, they, but... I give bread away. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, just white bread. We're talking hot dog buns, hamburger buns. We're talking about pita bread. We're talking about uh, um, uh, swirly bread. We're talking about donuts. We're talking, I mean, the little bits, all this, okay? Plus frozen foods. We got, they got meats and potatoes and the whole nine yards anyway. In Polk County, there are many homeless people. There are children that are in our school system that are homeless. Where I live, there is a greater need than I think that people don't even know about. It reminds me, I'm not comparing it to the extent of the, uh, the horror, but it reminds me when I watched the movie Band of Brothers that, uh, you know, when they said it, one of their episodes towards the end was Why We Fight, and it's when Easy Company, um, one of the guys doing a scout came upon one of the uh, uh, concentration camps. I forget which one it was. But they, they came across this camp um, and that uh, the, the, the undesirables uh, for, to the, the Nazis in the Third Reich, the, the Jewish people, the, um, the gypsies, uh, etc. Right? They're, they're, you know, wearing drags. They're, they're treated like animals, like, like cattle, or worse than animals. They're treated worse than animals. And if you've seen Band of Brothers, this part it breaks your heart every time you see it um and what's even more crazy about it is that the town was not that far away from this concentration camp and the town was like totally oblivious or they acted totally oblivious i don't know if i'm it'd be neat to have a discussion to find out did the town really know i know some of the people had to know but they ignored it it was just part of the it's just the way it was 
And um, so Easy Company is going to feed these guys because they knew they were starving to death. So they went in, they got the bakery you know, items of cheese or whatever, and they took it to the guys and they started feeding them. Well, when the colonel and the, the medic got there, says, we got to stop this. You're feeding them. They're going to gorge themselves and it's going to kill them because you're giving them food they're not used to eating. So they had to put them back in that concentration camp until they could properly take care of them medically because otherwise they would die. People don't understand that about caring for others. Um, and I said that, that in here in Polk County there are homeless children in our school system. Homeless. And you know, I'm, I'm not talking... Uh, and then, then plus the other, uh, you, you know, your, your uh, what do you call it, perception of homeless out in the woods and camping and so forth. And we, we go by and why, why is that? I, I, I was able to because I had a sponsor. And, and I'll tell you this, if you want to sponsor uh, somebody, you know how you send money over to, to support the starving children in Africa, which is good, and God bless you for doing that, save the children and whatever. But right here in town, I was able to, this is not for me, it, just, it came to me um, that there was a person that needed food. I mean, there, this family had nothing, from what I understand, the cupboards were bare. Uh, you know, by the time they was paying rent and this, that, the other business, you know, the money was gone. And the food, you know, they're down to whatever. And um, a sponsor donated $25. Um, I've got the check. They, the check just came in. $25. And I was able through the food bank, because we could get the stuff at, at uh, such a discounted rate, was able to supply their cupboard, filled it up for 25 bucks. You're thinking, dang, I ought to shop there. Well right okay um but this this is a warehouse so if you're in the central florida area and you're a church listening or you're a ministry listening um please connect with tony allen bruce connor donnie mcclellan uh at the central florida food bank and the children's care outreach is they also have a furniture warehouse where that you they, you can buy furniture get nice furniture and all, the money goes to help feed the children that's what we're talking now it's one thing just to feed children or take care of kids that are homeless it's another thing to build a community of a that are recognizing that we want to make a difference in our larger community like the cloister i'm going to have to find some more information about the effort of cloister did they just stay in there by themselves and lock themselves away from the world or did they do any outreach and you know, see, a lot of people think that the monks, all they did was did not, they didn't do any outreach, but actually they were evangelical sinners. I said that because um, I just wanted to give a shout out to what they're doing. Central Florida Food Bank, um, you know, like with hurricane relief and so forth, uh, water, these guys have, have blessed so many people. It's, um, it's phenomenal. The need is what's awesome. It's almost, a, you just don't believe it, but it's there. And with all the resources, here's the, here's the other sad thing that I'm discovering more and more, that we have the resources available. Here's all the resources. Here's the need. But the connection, is, is they're not coming together as well they could be. That should change. Anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to those ministries that are involved. So when you support, um, uh, you know, by like Larry with his, um, uh, you know, helping on the advice and the uh, so forth. When you support this ministry like that, um, you're making impact. See, you've got the corporal works of mercy. You know, what, what are the corporal works? You know, you got to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, shelter the shelterless, you got to bury the dead, and there's one other, and visit the sick, pray for the sick, take care of the sick.
Okay, those are things that Jesus asked are in prison. There's in there a prison one in there too. Um, visitation, visiting others and caring for others. This is part of the gospel. It's not the only part, but it's part of it. Um, and and on the other part here. Um, you've got the, the, the spiritual works, and we're praying, we're teaching the word, okay? So we, we want to do both, but not, I mean, it's great that I'm broadcasting this out. Now, to be more efficiently, or to do this better, I don't say better, the words I'm trying to use is, um, all right, for example, I'm, I'm, I've got all this stuff going on here, and um, I'm, I'm only reaching 8,000 people. And, and they're all around the world. Well, how about reaching the people that are right here in Central Florida? So I need to work on the strategy to you know, bring that together. And I don't mind doing, you know, 8,000 or 10,000, but there's people with more followers, way more than I do about their, on their social media accounts. I need to get that going. I need to do what it takes to build that up. So, um, Lord, grant us wisdom. Amen. Um, and that's why I said, like, a subscribing to the YouTube channel. That is, that's just one step. Um, and, and, uh, Leslie says, I'm sorry for coming in late. Good morning. Oh, no worries, Leslie. I mean, it's all good. You know, I understand. Uh, people can watch this at different times uh, during the day, and and uh, there's no... I don't see your commitment card where you committed to be here at 630, so don't, don't sweat it. But thanks for... Um, I really appreciate you um, viewing and your prayers. You know, every Lord have mercy that you say for Father Wade and for Matushka Martha, <laughs> Friar Wade, um, the Lord, may he bless you for that. Amen. All right, continuing on. Now we're back in the saddle again after our moment of silent meditation, which wasn't very silent. All right, here's prayers. It is 733. Let me give the station identification. Um, hello, this is Father Wade. You're watching Morning Prayers. Uh, we're going to check one place on you now and see how we've got going. Um, guys, I see your comments and um, I, well, I actually see your names there, but I, I, I don't see any comments. So if I've missed it, I apologize. Um, but I want to thank you for stopping by and watching and listening um, and praying with us. Here we go. Are you ready? Here is this Russian prayer from Metropolitan Filuret of Moscow. Can anything good come out of Moscow? Yes, it can. Listen to this. O oh Lord, grant that I may greet this coming day in peace and help me to rely on your holy will at every moment. In every hour of the day, reveal your will to me. Bless my time with all who surround me and teach me to treat that whatever may happen to me throughout the day with the peace of soul and with a firm conviction that your will governs all. In all my deeds and words, guide my thoughts and feelings. In unforeseen events, let me not forget that all is sent by you. You know, I need to pray this prayer more than just in the morning. Um, teach me to act firmly and wisely without embittering or embarrassing others and give me the strength to bear the fatigue of the coming day and all that it will bring. Direct my will, teach me to pray, and pray yourself in me. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, O Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk, but rather granted to me the spirit of chastity, integrity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Yes, my Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins, my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Uh, we're going to go into our morning uh, intercessions for others. As I uh, look around. One last time. And see how we're doing. Checking the comments from different sources. It's like Leslie saying, I like the live recording. We're in a different time zone. I know it's like 5.30 there. I understand. 
Uh, we might have to bump it back to seven o'clock. Um, uh, we did that at one time. And uh, I don't know, Martha, if that's bad for you or good for you. And Linda, if, if good, bad, or different. Instead of 6.30, doing it at 7. Uh, you can let me know in the comments. If, you like, if you'd like to try 7 o'clock for a while, see how that works. I don't have a problem with it. Um, what do you think, you now? You think 7 o'clock is a better time? Or later? And then my other friends on... Uh, uh, YouTube what do you think let's see what you think yeah all right here we go continue on in our prayers hmm interesting O oh Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance and grant victory to Christians over their adversaries by the power of your cross preserve preserve your habitation. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, for the sake of your eternal mercy, loving kindness, you became man, suffered crucifixion and death for the salvation of all. You rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand of the Father, where you hear the prayers of all who call upon you humbly with their whole heart. Incline your ear to us and listen to the prayer which your servants offer as a spiritual sacrifice for all your people. Remember, first of all, your holy Catholic and apostolic church, which you have purchased with your precious blood. Strengthen, multiply it, and keep it in peace, and do not allow the gates of hell to prevail against it. Prevent schisms among the churches and pacify the ragings of the pagans. Quickly destroy the uprisings of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Have mercy, O Lord, upon the president, the Congress, judiciary, governors, those who make and administer our laws, the municipal, city authorities, county commissioners, those who protect and serve us, the law enforcement officials, those who serve in our armed forces, the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, National Guard. Give them peace and continual victory over unrighteousness and over evil in all places so that we may live in peace and all your people may live calm and ordered lives in your sight, in true faith and prayer, with godly deeds. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon popes, patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops, bishops, priests, deacons, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, um, vicars, record, rectors, um, monks, those in the monastic order, the nuns, uh, those the religious, the brothers and sisters of charity, those that follow in a, in a religious setting, those you've established to feed the flock of your word, all the Sunday school teachers, the, the deacons, have mercy, all of them. By their prayers, have mercy on the sinners and save us. Have mercy, O Lord, on our spiritual fathers and mothers and save them. Lord, save them. By their holy prayers, forgive us our transgressions. Have mercy, O Lord, on our parents Save them together with their spouse, children, brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends. Grant them your blessing, Lord, now and in the age to come. Have mercy, O Lord, on the old and the young, the needy, the orphans, the widows, those who are in sickness and sorrow, distress and affliction, oppression and captivity, in prison and confinement. Save them together with, those, with your servants who are under persecution for the sake of the faith and your sake, Lord. Remember them, visit them, strengthen and comfort them, and by your power grant them speedy relief, freedom, and deliverance. Lord, we pray especially for this crowd of people coming up, um, refugees. Uh, we pray that your mercy and your grace will abound, and we pray that your law and order will abound. God, that um, people's needs can be met. Lord, for those that are trying to force their way in, regardless of their situation, um, you, you know, you deal with them. Share your love to them. Grant them visitation. We pray for change, because they're not going to be they're not going to be accepted. Um, they're just going to enter into a hard life, and that's going to—it's not going to be good. Lord, we pray that your mercy, your peace, your justice, and truth prevail. We pray for all those that are in an uh, uh, illegal immigration status. Lord, we pray that uh, you will grant favor those who are seeking uh, you know, to be uh, citizenship. Lord, we pray that you will unblock the court system. That, uh, you know, cases that take two years for stuff to three, five years for, for something to be processed, uh, that can be cleared out. These people can be actually uh, functioning members of, of, uh, of the society without fear of causing any other problems. And, you know, because of some technicality or craziness, 
So Lord, we pray that you would have mercy on these situations. We thank you for favor and that your favor rests upon, especially those who are, are, are of faith. Lord, we also ask you to um, uh, protect all those who are traveling, save them, those who are sent on duty, our brothers and sisters and all Christians. And Lord, have mercy also on our enemies. Save those who envy us, wish us evil, or deal unjustly with us. May they not perish because of us sinners. Our enemies, those who mediate evil to us, those who um, uh, uh, at home or abroad, in, inside enemies, traitors in, within the country and out of the country, um, or, or patriots who go too far. God, I pray that your mercy and your peace and they will, will overcome. We pray for a, a harvest, Lord. You are the Lord of the harvest, actually, God. We, you said, pray the Lord, of har the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers because the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Lord, send forth the laborers and prepare the laborers, we pray. And somebody say amen. We pray that the laborers will be sent forth. We're asking you, Lord of the harvest, that people's lives will be changed, turned from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to you, God. Amen. Lord, we pray that the truth of your holy wisdom will enlighten, enlighten those, not just to know it, but to walk in it, to walk in the newness of life, a new, a new shoes. Lord, we pray for all those who have gone astray from the faith, led by destructive heresies, divergent philosophies, Unite them once more to your holy Catholic and apostolic church, you pray. Amen. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. The Lord is good. Hello, Corinder. How you doing? Thanks for saying hello. Pause in here to... Take a break. Watching. Hey, Mark, how you doing? If you're still there, thanks for stopping by. It's just now Corinna's just showing up on the screen. And somebody, there's a delay. <laughs> there's a delay. Um... Glory to Jesus Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's continue on. We're about um, um, wrapping this up. Uh, you've wondered why this missed the, my script that was going along. Anyway, amazing. There we go. Right here, we're praying for our departed. Now, I know some uh, groups freak out when I do this. Um, you know, when you say you're praying for the departed, there's no hope for it. Well, you know. The, the church did this and uh, you, you know we're giving give it to God that's, that's that's my deal I'm going with the flow so there's some reason in the mystery and I could go through it but it's not I just you know we're praying now and and God's will will be done that's it that's all we're asking Lord, remember those who have departed this life, all popes, patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops, those who've served in your priesthood, the ministry of your church, Lord, the, the fivefold ministry gifts, the monastic order, grant them rest with your kingdom, in your kingdom, with your saints. O oh Lord, remember the souls of your servants now fallen asleep, our parents, family, and friends. Forgive them all of their sins, Lord, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and grant them your kingdom, a portion of 
in your eternal blessing and enjoyment of your unending life. Remember, O Lord, all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection of the dead into eternal life, our brothers and sisters and Christians throughout the world. Place them with your saints before the light of your countenance and also have mercy on us. You are a good God. You are a good God and a lover of mankind. And our closing prayer, O Heavenly Father, we humbly ask you to send your Holy Spirit and touch the hearts of the people right here in Lakeland, Florida, and right where my friends are viewing or listening. Lord, we ask you to encourage them to seek the living truth, your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Church. And we pray that their hearts will be turned away from the temptations of this world, world and the words of heretical teachers. Lord, we pray for ourselves that, that our hearts would not be hardened to the gospel, but that we would be living lights and representatives of our Savior. Lord, we pray for the church in Lakeland, Florida. We pray for the church in Lancaster, UK. We pray for the church in Mobile, Alabama. We pray for the church in Texas. Lord, we pray for the church where everyone is viewing. May, this, may the church be a true haven of rest, a hospital for sick souls, an encouragement and hope for all who call at home. And we pray that all who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in Lakeland, Florida, and around the world may be one, even as you are one and your Son and Holy Spirit are one. Amen. It is truly right to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious and beyond compare than the seraphim, in virginity you gave birth to God, the word, true Theotokos, we magnify you. But we reserve all worship, praise, honor, and glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord of mercy, Kyrie eleison, Senor ten piedad. Lord, through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us, we pray. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. I want to thank you for joining in with me for morning prayers this morning. This is the day the Lord has made all day. And remember that prayer that in unexpected events, never forget that all is sent by the Lord, depending on, I mean, if you're praying and doing what you're, your part, all right? But he is there in your life. Reach out. Reach out today to Jesus because he's reaching out to you. Thanks so much for watching. And um, we will catch you next time. I'll let you know when we switch to seven, if that's what you guys would like to do. This is Father Wade here in Lakeland, Florida. St. Andrew the First Called, Orthodox Catholic Church Mission Plant, Church Plant. Bless you.